Hello everyone, it's John, and this is going to be a tutorial on uh, how to download the pre previous versions of Dark Souls 3. Uh, the objective is uh, to download the versions that uh, are going to be used to speedrun the various uh, various uh, categories in the game. The three versions we are interested in are 104 with regulation 105, which is the version we, we use for any percent, then version 108 with regulation 122, which is the version we use for uh, uh, any percent no teardrop. And then version 1.12, uh, regulation 1.32, which is the one we used to, for uh, for all bosses. Uh, to download uh, each of the, of the data that we are going to need, which is the game in uh, for any percent, the game with the, plus the first DLC for one for uh, 108, and the game with all the two DLCs uh, in in all bosses. Uh, we are going to uh, want to open uh, Steam uh, by going to, to the run command and type this string which I have already typed which is steam column double slash open slash console we just press ok and the, and the steam console is going to, to open uh, then we want to simply uh, select one of these uh, one of these strings which corresponds to whatever we want to download and uh, simply copy it I will I will do, download the DLC for uh, for for brevity, but you have to do it for uh, each of those that you that you choose to to get. You simply paste the string here, press press enter. And this will uh, this will happen. Now there will not be no no progress indication whatsoever, except if you go to library downloads, you are going to see that uh, uh, the the the. The download is actually happening because you can see there is network network usage uh, currently. I will wait for um, for this uh, for this package to finish to download. As you can see, the, the network usage has dropped to zero, which means the team has uh, stopped downloading, finished downloading. Then you can go and plus the size is almost what uh, the console told us before, which is 1.5 gigabytes uh, or around that. Now we can go back to the console. A new message uh, will, uh, will have appeared. Uh, it says depot download complete and there's a, there's a directory here. What you want to do is simply copy this. Again, press Win plus R and paste it, and it will uh, it will open in a certain directory. Um, now you have you can see there is a there is the data for the DLC, which is the the game directory, which contains uh, like DLC one dot BDT and BHD, the sound uh, and and all that kind of stuff. Now you want to go here basically, and then uh, side by side you want to open. Uh, the directory where you where you keep the the actual game for example i i keep it uh, let's say let's say this was current patch this is not current patch of course this is 112 uh let's say i keep a uh, dark souls game here or like anywhere here as you can see like in the 1.12 versions uh which i have already downloaded there is the game directory with the sound directory which we have here and the dlc1 and dlc1 dot uh, and bdt files as well. So what you want to do is simply find the directory uh, of, of Dark Souls 3, go over here, and simply drag the, the files here. Then you can repeat the process for uh, like this one as well. Simply, again, let's go over it again. You copy this, I won't download it. Uh, paste, press enter, wait for the download, finish, find the directory, uh, copy it. Open it and uh, and again copy over the stuff which it, which will uh, like only only use only stuff that has to be uh, overwritten will be uh, so no worry you can simply drag uh, the directory over here and it's gonna be okay and that's that's basically it you you do this for the for the both of the DLC and for the game or uh, for whatever subset you want. And uh, and you're basically done. You can just uh, start uh, start your game, and you will have the the correct version installed. Uh, now, if uh, if you guys want uh, 
to have a more uh, in-depth uh, explanation, I will link. Uh, I will link uh, uh, an, ima yeah, an image URL uh, link on the, the in the descriptions, so you can see how the the actual process works uh, from start to finish. I've already figured out what the the correct uh, uh, codes to to input in the console are for uh, for the versions of. Uh, Dark Souls 3 that we are interested in, and probably I will uh, I will also develop uh, a tool to automate to automate uh, all of these in uh, in the f in the in the next few weeks probably. Uh, the thing is, uh, this this mechanism will probably override uh, down patching uh, because uh, in this way we can download the exact data that we want for the games to start, and this is probably going to be the the cleanest way uh, to have. Um, to have the correct version of the game. Uh, hope you guys find this useful and I will see you soon. Bye bye.